Listen, man. <laughs> People crazy as hell. People are funny, man. People are weird, dog. Listen, I'm going to tell you some real shit, man. It's your big brother, Tran G, man. Turn the volume up on your phone. Turn the volume up in your car. Turn the volume up, man. I'm about to tell y'all some real shit, man. Because I can't make this up, dog. I can't make this shit up. Listen, some people some people will envy you so much, dog. They'll, some people will be so jealous of you. They'll envy you so much that the only way they can ever get rid of you or stop you from doing what you're doing is if they come into your life and try to get you to change what you're doing. You ever had people like that in your life that come into your life like, you know what I'm saying? It'd be people coming into your life trying to change what you're doing because they see you doing what you're doing from a distance, right? They see you doing what you're doing from a distance. And um, they don't like it. So it, it's frustrating them. It's making them mad. They like you. They like everything that you got going on. They looking at your life from behind the closed doors, pocket watching, checking you out, seeing all your clothes that you wearing. They know your wardrobes. <laughs> they know who you dating. They know where you was at yesterday. They know all this information because they envy you at the same damn time. Can't get over you, bro. Some people jealous like that. Some people jealous like that to the point that like the only way they can stop you from your hustle and from doing what you're doing is to get close to you, right? And try to get you to change your whole regimen. I don't understand. Like try to get you to change everything that makes you who you are. They envy you so much. People can envy you so much. They'll try to come to you and act like they your, your friend, act like they like you. But behind that smile, bro, they hate you. Behind that smile, they don't even... See, they can't even admit it, though. You know what I mean? They can't admit to the fact that you got something they want. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got something they want. You doing something that's disturbing them. You know what I'm saying? You doing something that's like getting up under their skin or something like that, you know? And so what they try to do is like they're going to try to come in. They're going to try to come and change it, man. Just try to switch, change your whole like, change your whole like psychology, you know, change your whole like attitude. No, you shouldn't think that. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't say that. Why you be doing this? Why you be going there, Trin? You know what I'm saying? Why you, why you with her? You supposed to be with a girl like this. You know, um, why you wearing that color? Why you got on that dress? You don't supposed to wear a dress on Tuesdays. Like, people envy you so much. They'll try to get close to you to bring you down, to destroy you, to make you feel, to make you, to make you question what you're doing in your life. You know what I mean? People funny, man. People funny like that. Why? Because they can't get to what, they can't get, they can't get what you got. They can't be who you are. You know what I'm saying? They want to be you, but they can't be you. They need to be themselves. You feel me? So, like I said, what the jealous person do, what the people that envy you do is, since they can't beat you, since they see you living a much more interesting life than them, since they see you extremely happy all the time, like I said, they'll try to come into your life and try to get you to stop doing what you've been doing that's disturbing them. That's what they do. That's what they do. You'll find out your friend ain't your real friend real quick. Real quick, if you start to focus on your vision, you start to focus on your journey or whatever, I man, you just start, you know, changing your mindset and all this, man. Your friend gonna be like, you doing too much. You need to calm down. You need to dim your light a little bit. That's what they want you to do. See, they can't keep their eyes off you. They can't keep their eyes off you to the point that they want you to dim your light. Like, you shouldn't dress so fly because they can't get fly like that. You know what I'm saying? Or you should stop talking because when you talk, everybody listens and nobody listens to me. You know what I'm saying? This is what jealous and envious people do, bro. This is what they do all the time. I can't make this shit up. You know what I mean? You'll be on the phone listening to somebody. You'll be talking. You'll be talking to somebody that's so-called like you, right? They so-called like you. Everything you say, no, that's not right. No, you sh no, no, I didn't really think that. What do you think about it? Hey, they'll ask you a question, stupid, stupid shit. What do you think about it? And then you'll tell them what you think about it and they'll say, no. That, you, no, that's not really what's it, what it is. 
No, that's not a good idea. Why the fuck you ask me for my opinion then? Decepticons. But the reason why they be doing this, like I said, the reason why they be doing this is because they want you to dim your light, bro. They trying to get you, they trying to kill your spirit. They trying to break your spirit down. Because like I said, whatever it is that you doing, whatever it is that you got going on, whatever it is that you doing, they want that same vitality. You know what I mean? They want that same attitude that you got. They want that same charisma that you have. They want that shit. Rather than being themselves, they want what you have. So like I said, they'll get close to you. They'll get close to you to try to figure you out. They trying to figure out the ingredients that you put in the recipe. They trying to figure it all out versus being themselves rather than being themselves and you know what I'm saying? Doing what God doing what God tells them to do. They'll try to come in your life and try to get you to do what you're not supposed to do. Like tell you, don't do this, don't do that. You shouldn't go here. You shouldn't hang around them. Envy. 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 That's what envious people do. This is what envious people do all the time, man. But the thing you got to do is like, don't let it get to you, man. Like, don't let it bother you. You know what I'm saying? People try to change you. Don't don't let that shit bother you, man. Let that shit go in one ear, go out the other ear. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of people to try to come tell you how to live your life. You know what I'm saying? They're going to try to control you. They're going to try to tell you how to live your life. Do it like I did. If, if, and if you don't do it their way, they, they, they think you're disrespecting them because you don't want to do what they telling you to do. You know what I'm saying? If y'all got a situation with y'all, even y'all own, if y'all got a situation with y'all parents, bro, if your parents be hating on you or something, whatever, be stunting on you, nine times out of ten, the reason why they doing that shit is because, nine times out of ten, the reason why they doing that shit is because they, you not doing it they way. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you doing, you not doing it they way, they don't like it. You will lose all kind of friends in your life. You will lose all kind of friends in your life for the simple fact that you're doing what you want to do and you're not listening to them. Since you don't want to, since you don't want to talk like us, we don't want to hang with you. Since you don't want to dress like us, we don't want to hang with you. Since you don't want to stay here with us, we don't like you no more. People will not like you because of that. I thought it was freedom of speech. I thought I can date whoever I want to date. I thought I can. Last time I checked, I paid my own damn bills. You feel me? If this, if some, if somebody in your life trying to tell you what to do, and they mad at you all of a sudden because you don't want to do what they want to do, if they ain't paying your damn bills, you're not obligated to do shit for them. If nobody's feeding you, you're not obligated to do nothing. If they ain't paying your cell phone bill, you're not obligated to call them. You're not obligated to answer the phone for nobody. And see, that's the thing. Nowadays, people feel so entitled. Nowadays, people feel so entitled when they don't have the right to. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, people feel so entitled like they deserve all your whole life. I deserve all of your attention, Trent. No, you don't. You ain't, you ain't got me shit. You ain't bought me nothing. I don't even know you like that. I don't owe you nothing. I work for where I'm at. I bust my, I bust my butt to get to where I'm at. You ain't give me nothing. That's how entitled people feel, man. Like I said, they'll see you living a good life. They'll see you happy with yourself. They'll see you always doing something interesting. You always exciting. And, and what they'll do is they'll snare up at you behind the closed doors, pocket watch you, hate on you. And then they'll come and get with you in your face, get, try to be your friend. Hey, how you doing? You a Decepticon. This is what they do. I'm telling y'all, this, this is what envious people do. They don't want to put the work in. They don't want to. They don't want to do the labor, but they want to enjoy it with you. They gonna say, "Why you ain't give me none? Why you ain't do it for me? Cause you ain't put the work in." And they'll tell you everything that you have accumulated, everything that you have, you have uh become. You owe it to them. Why? Because they they because they ain't doing nothing for themselves. But everything that you have accomplished, you owe it to them. That's how envious people is. They try to get close to you. They try to get close to you because, like I said, you got something that they want. You got something they want or you 
They see you happy with yourself. They see you real happy with yourself, but they mad at themselves. They see you, you found love, but they still ain't found love. They see you got a beautiful chick. They still ain't found a beautiful chick. They see you got a nice girl, they, but they ain't found a nice girl. They see you doing good and they gonna try to come and take what's yours. This is why people be, this is why people cheat. Because they too, they, because they, because they don't want to get off their butt and they don't want to put the work in and they don't want to go out there and make it happen for themselves. But when they see you doing good for yourself, all of a sudden it's a problem. All of a sudden you evil. All of a sudden you, you a part of the Satan's plan. All of a sudden you ain't godly no more because you doing the work and they ain't. But they'll smile, like I say, they'll smile in your face. They'll go play volleyball with you. They'll, they'll go work out with you. They'll be cool for two, three days. Then next thing you know, they'll start hating on you because you have something that they don't have. That's why I be telling y'all. This is why I be telling y'all. You might as if you if you if you focus on your journey, if you're trying to become successful, or whatever, you might as well get used to people coming in and out your life, in and out, in and out, in and out. It's a revolving door. Your life will become a revolving door. You will never have set friends. You will never be in relationships with, for long with people. You'll never be in friendships long with people because I'm telling you, once they start seeing what you really about and once they see what you stand for and you're not gonna waver for them, they gonna keep. They gonna always point you point you as the bad person because you don't want to. They don't want to go where you want to go. They don't got the ambition to go where you want to go. They don't got the hustle like you got. I can't help it. I hustle harder than you. And they're going to feel like you you being better than them. They're going to feel like, oh, you don't remember me no more. No, I just got shit to do. I got to go. It ain't that I don't remember you no more. It ain't that I don't hang with y'all no more because I'm thinking that I'm better than y'all or nothing. Y'all don't want the same things I want in life. And when you hanging around some bum-ass people who ain't going nowhere in life, this is how they will treat you. They will become envious of you because you keep growing. You keep going. You keep leveling up. You keep becoming the greatest version of yourself every day, every day, every day. And they still stuck in the same place all day, every day. And they get mad at you and get envious and jealous of you because you're doing something good. You'll find this with girls, guys, anybody. You'll, you'll start to try to get in relationships with people, but you're never going to get in a relationship with the girl, bro. Because she's so, she's so miserable and frustrated with herself because she ain't doing nothing in her life. That if she see you balling, she see that you are a handsome person. She see that all oh, the ladies like you. She automatically going to hate you. She automatically going to hate you because she don't have that same accomplishment in her life. She don't have that same type of thing going on in her life. So she going to tell you all kind of names about yourself. She going to call you out your name. She going to try to make you look bad in front of your friends. All kind of shit. Why? Because you're doing something good in her, your life. And a lot of people like you. And people fucks with you. That's how people is. They weird. They funny. They Decepticons. Smile in your face and then curse you the next day. And then come back and smile again and curse you again all over again. Like nothing ain't even happened. Like it ain't never even happened. Huh? What did I do? It wasn't my fault. Yeah, it was your fault. You did it. But see, like I said, nowadays people feel entitled, man. They feel like you owe them what you have worked for. And if you don't give it to them, then they don't want to be your friend. This is how they think. This is how they, people don't work no more nowadays. People don't work for what they want. No, they just want handouts nowadays. Everybody wants a handout, but they don't want to do the work. A microwave society. Everybody want to be successful, but they don't want to put in six years, Trend. Everybody want to come tell you, like I get so many, I get so many people that come and try to tell me how to operate my platform. How you gonna tell me how to run my channel, nigga? I was doing this shit before you even subscribed. How you gonna tell me what to talk about? I've been doing this for six years. How you gonna come on in my show and try to tell me how to run my show? Huh? Stupid. But that's why I say. People feel entitled nowadays to where it's like they right and you wrong. Why? Because they can feel to be right and you wrong. And it don't question them. It don't have to be a fact. It don't have to be facts. They just right. 
Well, how did you get this information? I don't know, but it's information. Bitch, that shit don't even make no sense. If you take that shit to court, they're going to throw it right out. They're going to throw it right out. Nowadays, bro, that's why I say, bro, envious people, envious people, man, they get close to you, try to come tell you how to live your life, try to run your operation. They're going to try to tell you what to do. Why? Because they envy you from a distance and they want you to stop doing it because it's making them jealous. You know what I'm saying? It's making them, it's making them jealous. They get, they unhappy with the fact that they frustrated and miserable. So they want y'all to come take, change all the shit that you have created for yourself. And this is the way it is. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, take it with a grain of salt, dog. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but it's the truth. People is envious of you and they want you to change everything about you that's making them envious. It's your big bro trend, man. Make sure you press the thumbs up button if you like this video. I'm out. Peace.